Okay, question nine. A mixture of butan 1 ol and butan 2 ol can be synthesised from one bromobutane in a two-stage process, and you're given the diagrams for it. Okay, name the type of chemical reaction taking place in stage one. So you've got to look to find out what's happened in stage one. Now, we've developed a double bond here, so that means that we must have got rid of this. Okay, if you take out the H and the BR, we can get a double bond. This is elimination. Okay. Uh, using structural formula and curly arrow notation, outline a possible mechanism for the production of butan 2 on stage 2. This is why I have these huge uh, clip here from the Mark scheme. Okay, So this is what they accepted. We've got two ways of drawing it, but pretty much obviously the same thing. Um, if it helps at all, this bit, just getting this, would have got you one mark. Okay, And what we have here is the the bond in, in here with our pair which is being moved on to the hydrogen ion. Um, obviously the, the alternate is if you're using the hydronium and showing the oxygen in the middle. Um, I would say that this is probably the slightly easier way of showing it in the top rather than the second loop set. So you've then got your uh, carbocation intermediate and then we've got our attack again by the water um, which is then giving you your sorry this side, um, going down in an odd angle, I suppose, this way to follow, follow it through. Um, you've got your um, water attached, and then because we've now got an extra charge, we've got the last move to give us a normal bonded pair and get rid of the hydrogen. So I'm not going to sit and redraw them. It's quite clear this is what they're expecting. It's worth three marks. It's quite a hefty question. Okay, moving on. Yeah, actually, it's slightly easier. Okay, so we go back to a high-resolution proton NMR for butan tool. Um, they're not just asking you to do a lot on this. It says, circle the hydrogen atoms on the structure below responsible for the multiplet at 3.7 parts per million. Okay, so I went and picked up this from the databook. So we've got our data set. This is just the NMR spec. Obviously not the entire page because I thought I was clipping in far too much as it was. Um, so we are looking for at 3.7. Now remember we're reading this way on this, so 3.7, read it down and you will find this bit here. Okay, um, And what we're looking for is something attached to the alcohol or the ether. There's your hydrogen. Okay. Butan 1 all can be synthesized from one bromobutane by a different type of chemical reaction. An experiment was carried out to determine the kinetics. They are jumping all over the place in this particular question. Under certain circumstances, following results were obtained, so you've got a data set. The reaction is first order with respect to both. Write the overall rate equation. That's not too bad. Okay, so rate equal to making it very clear that this is a small key. So I do my kind of kind of loopy key. It's the only time I use it, but I use it for this to make sure that there's no way that they think I've used a big key. Uh, first order with both, so my whichever way around you want to do it, C4H9Br. Okay, that's it. If you put ones, that would also get you the mark. Calculate the value for the rate constant k, including the appropriate units. The appropriate units is the nasty bit, to be honest. Um, so we are looking for um, any one. So you could either substitute into this one or this one. Um, I'm just going to use the top one. So our rate, we've said, is k, loopy k, uh, and our two compounds. So our rate, let's take that 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus six is K, which is what we're gonna rearrange for. And then we've got 0 0.1, I had to get rid of the bracket, sorry, 0 0.1 times 0 0.25, okay. Um, so flip it over, uh, we've got K times 0 0.025 because that's that multiplied and then we divide that to get rid of that fraction and therefore k comes out at 1.32 times 10 to the minus 4. Now units wise personally I just memorize it's second order second order is liters per mole per second. But if you want to calculate it, then you substitute in to the rate equation and cancel it down. Um, but I think it's easier just learning it. 
Okay, that's the question.